Uh, Facebook reveals the future of VR headsets. And that's what it looks like. So for those of you just listening, this is a guy wearing something that looks like traditional sunglasses. This has been probably the biggest hurdle for VR. It's figuring out the actual contraption you're going to wear. Mm -hmm. It's uh, up until now, it's, uh, you even mentioned yourself, once it went wireless, that was a big difference for you. Yes, with the Oculus Quest. All of a sudden you, felt, you felt more free and it enhanced your experience. Yes. This is the kind of thing where if you if you are constantly aware of this thing that you're wearing and noticing it, whether it's a wire or a heavy headset or it just the immersion suffers. And also just the, the, the how often you use it requiring the the whole process of getting the thing on, carving out a spot for it. It's just right. not a very casual thing at the moment. No offense to those that do it casually. Mm -hmm. People pop, they slap it on and off. They eat some lunch, go right back to VR. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that happens. People are probably more comfortable with it than I am. But for me, it feels still like a bit of a process. Okay, I'm going to go into the VR. How much time do I have set aside? What do I have, three hours or, do you know what I mean? Move your coffee table. Hey, maybe that's a good thing for certain types of storytelling. It should be an event maybe. But for the widespread adoption, I think... It does need to trend a little more in the casual direction where a person can pop it on and just immediately get a sense for, oh, that's what you guys are all talking about. Hmm. Without, anyway, Facebook has been investing in VR since Oculus. They seem to think there's a big play there. They seem to think it's a part of their future, for better, for worse, whatever people think about that. And so because of that, they're investing in hardware and they're investing in the development of some fairly high-tech stuff, trying to shrink uh, what is a VR headset using technology that hasn't yet really been used in these headsets. Uh, up until now, we have displays, uh, OLED displays sitting behind a lens. Well, you need space for that. That's, that's how you end up with the VR headset that you have as of today. So they're having to use holographic optics for this thin, lightweight VR experience. It is nowhere near ready to go, by the way. Mm. They have to provide external light sources and it's only showcasing some kind of green color for the time being, nothing too elaborate. So it's very early stages, but this is a glimpse into the future of what a VR headset might look like and how that could, once again, just like the face swap technology, what the uh, practical applications for that might be and the effect as a whole if we have easy on and off vr I mean, think about the way right now where we sort of pick up our phones just mid conversation like a zombie type of imagine you just slip the shades on yeah supernatural you just what you know once people don't even feel guilty about it at all mm. you just just i i'm gonna go on a break i'm gonna go on a break for 15 minutes You know what I'm saying? Just fall back in a chair. I could picture you doing something like that. I mean, it's close. Yeah. <laughs> Put down the Oculus and. Uh, I'm saying, man, if I'm you just all you have to do is recharge that, and you just got it sitting on your shirt, or 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 maybe you just keep it on. I don't know. Yeah. Your whole world is completely. Maybe by this point, maybe by that point, people actually want to be strapped in permanently, so mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be casual at all. Wear a bodysuit. Yeah, that's probably. Not as far away as it sounds. Uh, how do you feel about Facebook being being so interested in virtual reality? Uh, man, <laughs> it, it's scary. <laughs> but I'm a fan of Oculus. That's the problem. What's their end game? It's it, it can't. It's not just gaming. It's uh, obviously they want you to be hooked in. Yeah. To the they want you to be hooked in in a more permanent or immersive way. I would imagine it would be like using Oculus as like a virtual Facebook. Yeah. Where people can beyond that, out. a virtual OS. Yeah, a, a digital world. Yeah, virtual OS. Yeah. Like the next, the next Android is is actually living somewhere inside of a VR ecosystem, with VR input. Yeah. Interesting. VR, AR. I don't know which one's going to take off first. Apple thinks it's going to be AR by the looks of it. So it'll be interesting to see how it maps out. Mm -hmm.